So this is how I wrap my China items that I've sold on eBay. I've um, got the packaging uh, from all my stock that's upstairs. I keep everything that comes into the house, I keep and I reuse. I haven't bought any packaging in the three years that I've been doing this. So, Because this is a pot with the lid, and I wrap the lid. Just pop it into the pot. And then tape that down so it doesn't become detached. It shouldn't do anyway once it's been wrapped in the bubble wrap. And I always put in a thank you, feedback would be appreciated. I make all of these. I don't buy these sort of things in because it costs money and I try and save money everywhere. So I'll just put one of those in. You don't get feedback for every single one that you put in, but I do get a lot, so it is worth doing. People are chucking packaging out, just keep it. Uh, this uh, blue bubble wrap came from a job that my partner's working at, at the moment, and the guy bought some new stuff and was just chucking it all out. So my partner got this in some boxes home. So this is the box that I found. Actually, what we're going to do first is weigh it. Now I have, I did buy this last year, and it is good. It's excellent. Um, but you don't need to do that. I was actually using some kitchen scales to start off with. Um, but because I've decided to do this all the time, I did buy these. These actually came, I bought them from Amazon. I can't remember how much they were. They were quite a lot. I think it was probably, well, 30, 35 pound. I can't remember, but so I'm just gonna weigh that like that. Oh, that's fine. That's under. Never, I do try and weigh everything before it goes up into storage until it's sold. Um, but with packaging, you can't always tell exactly what it's going to be. So. And if something is worth over £20, you do have to pay a little bit of extra insurance on it. So sometimes. We do need to charge a little bit more. So that's quite tight in there like that. So that, that should be fine. And then we'll just tape that. And then I'll just write on there what it is. I'll just put... Anyway. And then I'll put it into my bag. Hopefully it'll fit into one of these. These grey bags are the only packaging that I buy in. It's the only thing because I do need to send clothes out in these. So these are, gosh, what do I get? I think they're six ninety nine for a hundred. Um, I did get the bigger ones last year because with the pandemic we were so goodness knows what all sorts of stuff. So I did get the bigger ones, but normally it's just the smaller ones that I use.
just a little bit of air trapped in there, but actually that's fine because that adds to the the packaging. Just, I mean, there's not much in there. So. Bit like the bubble wrap. So that is, if you can't hear it, that should be fine. If it's rattling around, then you've packed it wrong. So that should be absolutely fine like that. So we'll just weigh it again to make sure that it's... And with some stuff, I just weigh it with a piece of paper because the label's got to go on. And unbelievably, it does make a difference. It does weigh a little bit more. See that <laughs> See, that was 7.10, now it's 7.15 because I've put the label on there. So in this case, it doesn't matter the, the, um, the, what the, uh, the postage that was paid well covers it, so that's fine. But in some cases, it can just tip it slightly over, so always check. Okay, so there we are, I'll turn that off. And that's it, and then I'll just book it into Hermes, pop the label on there, and um, then I'll take it down the shop. I do book it in at home because I just find it so much easier. Yes, you can do it down the shop, but if you've got two or three, four parcels, it takes too long. And I'm not sure how to do it anyway down there, but it just takes too long. And, you know, if there's other people waiting, it's just a bit of a pain. So I always do it at home, take them down the shop, and then they're ready to go. These were three plates that I just put on cheaply because we haven't used them in a long time. Um, and I just thought if somebody's got the set and um, they've got, you know, some broken ones, then they might be useful. And sure enough, um, there was three bids on them. So one in there, then I'm going to put some um, little bit of bubble wrap there. Then put the next one down. wrap on there. Wrap there for a minute. Wrap the next one, the third one separately. And then I'm going to put that on top. That bit of bubble wrap is just a bit more and then amongst my bubble wrap I found these uh, two bubble wrap bags or three actually I'll just pop them in there and turn that over feedback notes and pop that in there I've turned, the sides that I've turned over, I'm going to put those in first into the next bubble wrap bag and then I'm going to fold it underneath so that the top bits are more protected and then the bottom is protected as well. they're going up to Scotland they're going quite a way so I just want to make sure that, um, that they're wrapped well. It's disappointing for the person obviously if they get broken. So that's nice and uh, padded there. Just take that. And then I found a nice square box. I put some um, just plastic in the bottom there. Again, it's all just stuff that I keep. Then I'm going to put the plates in. 
It is a tight fit, but it's better for it to be tight than to be shaking about. And this cardboard is quite thick. And then this is just wrapping. I'm going to put that on top. And then this is just a wrapping. As you can see, this has got a label on. So what I do is I just take the name off so that where it's been sent. Can't see the name and address that was on there before. Squash those together. Three pairs of scissors here, two I keep for cutting um, tape and so forth, and another pair I keep for cutting the labels because if you use the same pair of scissors, you find that all the glue off the tape gets stuck on the scissors, and then when you go to cut the label, full of glue. So I have separate ones, I have got a knife as well somewhere for cardboard. Okay, so as you can see, that's tightly packed. It's not wobbling about. <laughs> now, I'm just also just going to put a little bit of this um, wrapping. I'm not over keen on this stuff, but somebody actually gave it to me. So um, I'm not going to throw it away because I think that's worse. It should be used. And then obviously I'm not going to buy any more once it's gone. So I'm just going to take that down there. Obviously it's plastic, one of our worst enemies. I'm not over here, but I'm not gonna just waste it and chuck it away because that's worse. That actually, that black plastic I put in there is this stuff, but it's not generally something that can be reused. At least I reuse all the packaging that comes in and I save other people so I don't want. And the grey bags that I send the clothes out in, they can be reused, even if it's just for rubbish bags, you know. So. Master the art of using this stuff. <laughs> Never mind. That's it, and that will do really. Nothing's moving, so that'd be fine. And then the other one that I have is um, two old towels, which I put on eBay again. We don't use them. They're just stuck in the drawer um, for the last couple of years. So I put those on. I think I put them by. They're big bath sheet towels. Um, 
which I stuck on for nine quid and somebody offered me seven pound fifty. So that's why I accept that. So I'm just, again, I'm just going to put my thank you. I'll stick it in there. I put them into a bag that I had up there. Just a bit of extra packaging. And then I'll put it into one of my grey bags. This is the slightly bigger size. Um because they won't fit into a smaller one. So I put the opening end in first. know them off by heart eventually. That's it. That's fine. And then just seal the I'm always aware that I don't I don't want it to kind of get caught in anything and then it'll get ripped and I'd rather just do that and so there we are so that's that one done if there's anything that you would like to see um you know for reselling on ebay do let me know in the comments below and um I will I will try and do that for you thanks very much for watching like, subscribe and share and I will see you very soon. Bye bye for now.